I saw myself in prison or dead. I would overdose or kill myself. Um, my name is Angelique and I'm a student at University High School. There was a need for a recovery high school in Austin. A group of concerned citizens, educators, individuals came together to help young people. Last year, our average daily attendance was around 23. We had a big jump, and that was wonderfully terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Recovery high schools in general are unique. There's only 40. Our model is, is pretty unique. I heard about University of High School through my judge at court when I was in my CPS hearing. I was 13 when I first dived into the whole drug scene. Smoking K2 and Huffing Freon. This disease like takes over you. My addiction is really bad. I lied, I cheated, and I like just did what I wanted to do. I was selfish. This is a sign of my life. You mind your papa and come then, right? I know, right? I ran away multiple times just to get away from my family. So I was in juvie, which is like a jail for kids. Everyone here has been through what you've been through to some extent. I definitely do have some regrets, but this is what I had to do to be successful. It's simple, just ask for help so you have that support and they can hold you accountable. I'm 15 now and about to turn 16 and I want to live and I want to have a family and I want to be sober. The shame isn't here and the stigma is not here. The students come together and grow one minute at a time. <laughs> the transformation that happens in a person's life, I believe, leads to generational change. And that's what I want people to know. This whole school is like different. There's literally like 14 students here. But like, it's like we have a family. Our kids are heroes, in my mind, anyway. And, you know, we love them. We'd love to keep them here for forever, but we want them to go off and be happy and well. Oh, this is sticky. I don't think I like it. <laughs>